Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be talking about whole examination pattern which is followed by Delhi University. You know, how is your internals and externals being conducted, how many marks and you know, the segregation which is being done. So I'll be sharing it with you. And in particular, I'll be talking about the uh, syllabus for economics honors first semester. So without any further ado, let's start the video. So I guess on the screen, it would be vis visible that I am sharing one PDF where it's given that Department of Economics, University of Delhi. It's the minutes of reading where we are talking about the one paper, which is for economics honor students first year, first semester. That's introductory mathematical method for economics. So basically, like people who are here watching, you know, for, for this pattern, the examination pattern, which is uh, followed, you can just refer to it as an example. I'll be sharing that how is the marks segregation done? How is the division done? I'll be sharing it with you. Just take it as an example and then we'll proceed further. Now, the very first thing I want to make it clear to you all it's that, you know, when we enter into college, we are very much, you know, inquisitive about knowing that, you know, do we have to follow any particular book? How is it going to be? So let me tell you, like, you know, when you come to college, for most of the courses, like I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about all, but yeah, most of the courses, what we do is, and I have to be more specific if I'm talking about my course, economics, um, we were provided readings. So readings is basically a part of the book which you have to read. Like it's not the whole book. Now let's take an example. I just mentioned that, you know, for the first semester, economics honors people, you have to study one paper that's mathematical method for economics. So in this paper, uh, we are given, well, you know, we are given one reading, which is from the author, Sedator and Hammond. We have to read that you know, book. But basically, we don't have to read the whole book. It's a part of it. So when once you enter into college, you can either go to any photo state, you know, it could be in the North Campus or South Campus or in, in North Campus, you, come, you can come to Delhi School of Economics or in your particular college, you'll get the reading. You, uh, you have to just, you know, read from it you have to grasp from it and that's enough for your you know for your even if, if i may say external and internal examination both so that's reading is being provided by the colleges and you know for any other photocopy shop wherever you go in delhi university it's not that you have to read the whole book now this is the very first point i made it clear now coming to the second thing what is the exact examination pattern and you know how you have to proceed for it so um, on the screen, I'll be showing that how, you know, you have to do it as you can see, uh, if I'm taking the example of mathematical method for economics only, this paper, here you can see that there are two, basically two things. Your external examination is going to be of 90 marks and your internal examination is going to be of 70 marks. So for your external, it's simple. It's very clear that it would be end at the end of the you know semester and you have to appear for the paper it's going to be of 90 marks or you know whatever way it could be you can check for the pyqs i will be definitely making other videos where i'll be sharing the pyqs as well if i get any for other courses but yes definitely i'll be sharing for economics and you, there you can see that you know how is the paper pattern being followed but it's basically of 90 marks now coming to the internal examination here basically you can see that the point number two which is mentioned here on the screen it says that there are two things one is the internal assessment and other is the continuous assessment as i told you the whole is going to be of 70 marks but your internal assessment would carry 30 marks and your continuous assessment would carry 40 marks um talking about miranda house and my college how we followed and i guess most of the college follow the same pattern but uh you know uh, it's not that they i'm just sticking to it that yes every college follows it it's not that but yeah let me tell about mine how it how it went and mostly it is followed that internal assessment it's basically we have two class tests uh, for economics majorly and in that it's of 12 marks like one test is of 12 marks other test is of 12 marks so total of 24 marks and six marks are for attendance so people those who have 85 percent plus attendance they get a full six and you know then the um, scores decrease and decrease and it said that i guess above 69 if you have below 69 you get a zero so you know attendance also have marks you have to look into it so this is the first thing about internal assessment like a total 
total of 30 30 in which you have two um, of your class test one is of 12 other of 12 and then followed by your six marks for attendance it sums up to the 30 marks coming to the continuous assessment part here you know you could get quizzes from your professors you could get a google classroom we have to do some activity or you have to have a group discussion anything could be followed depends on the professor so basically you could have you know total of it's basically a total of 35 marks a professor could take a five marks quiz of course, professor could take a 15 marks of your group discussion. So they have to just sum it up over and they have to make a total of 35 marks. And the rest five marks are with the professor, of course, that's of attendance. And then you have to complete it. So 35 plus 5, that's 40 marks for a continuous assessment. Now, this is your internal assessment and continuous assessment which sums up to your 70 marks for the whole internal examination. So this is the 70 marks and the rest 90 marks are your external. So 90 plus 70, that turns out to be 160. So this is the whole examination pattern which is being followed in Delhi University. I hope I made my point very clear. Now, coming to, you know, one more basic info which I want to give for every course and then I'll specifically move to the people who are pursuing, going to pursue economics honors so that this video gets you know more understandable for the people and then they can move forward the economics people can move forward now uh, for the papers how what you have to do for the papers is that you will every course will have three core papers three core papers it could be any but let me tell about economics it's first one is mathematical method for economics that's part one second paper is statistical method for economics part one and the third paper is microeconomics so uh, introductory macroeconomics right so these are the three core papers which you need to study and every paper would be of 90 marks each which is external and the you know uh, the pattern i told the 70 marks internal for each paper that's how it is being followed Coming to this is the core paper. The fourth paper is going to be the general elective. So general elective is a paper, you know, which you have to take apart from your course. Like suppose you are an economic student, you can't take up economics um, as a subject in your general elective. You have to take any other subject, either it could be maths, political science, or English, or, you know, history, any other XYZ subject. And same ways it goes for any Paul science student. You can't take up Paul science as a general elective. You can take either you can take either, you know, um, economics or um, English, you know, uh, or maths, any subject, but not political science. This is one thing which I want to make clear. Then, then, then followed by, you know, um, uh, this is the general elective followed by your skill enhancement course, followed by your value, uh, value addition course. And the seventh paper is ability enhancement course. So for the skill enhancement and value addition course, I'll be, of course, for these three papers, GE, skill enhancement and value addition, I'll be making a separate video. But let me make this thing clear that in these courses also, you are given choices from which you have to choose and then you have to appear for the papers. And sometimes paper is not theoretical. It could be a practical practical paper where you don't have any theory you just have to do the practical work and uh, one is the ability enhancement course which includes either you can opt for hindi or um, you have to opt for evs that is you know uh, environmental science so it depends on the semester or depends how the college for you know follows now that's completely uh, fully uh, on in which college you are and how they have their own structured design so this is the one thing which was all about basically three papers score followed by your general elective followed by then uh, skill enhancement value addition and the seventh paper is your ability enhancement course i hope i made myself clear now let's proceed further to the people who are you know going to pursue economics honors people i told you that these are the three core papers you have to study that is the mathematical method for economics uh, then you have statistical method for economics and microeconomics now coming to you you can you can see on my screen as i you know earlier i mentioned there that we have mathematical method for economics and here paper pattern is very much clear followed by you know this is the first semester syllabus which um, given that is unit one you have to do the logics and proof technique the set and operation functions and their properties unit two is function of one variable which will be taught by your professor and see you can see that the difference is sedator and Hammond. like this is one book uh, the reading which will be provided by your college you have to read that and that's enough i'm basically talking about semester one 
Now coming to the other paper, same ways, it's introductory microeconomics. In microeconomics as well, you have different different papers and definitely I'll be sharing the link in the group uh, in the description so you can refer to it. And then followed by your statistical method for economics. Here also, you have the same thing. You have all these papers and here you have to refer to the reading Devor. So Devor is the one reading which you can refer to, right? So this was the whole thing which I wanted to talk about. So yeah, in this video, I just wanted to talk about the syllabus and I'll be sharing it like, yeah, there's no point, I guess, you know, in just reading out the syllabus, I'll definitely share it in the description. And I wanted to share the pattern, like what is being followed. If you have any further doubt or if I missed any point, please drop down in the comment, comment section. I'll reply to you. And in the next videos, I'll be making it definitely for the general elective and the skill enhancement value addition. And even I'm thinking, you know, my college are also going to start and I'm thinking that how you know my week goes i'm going to share each and every detail with you so yeah um that's it for this video thank you bye bye